Okay, in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to make the very popular snake game. I get this request all the time from viewers and students, and here we go. The snake game is very simple. You have a snake, and the snake moves around. Uh, it is looking for some food, represented by the red dot here, and when it touches the food, the snake body gets longer. And basically, you just go and go and go until you hit the border uh, of the screen. That's how you die. Otherwise, it's a very simple game. I cannot go backwards on myself. Um, I also die if I touch my own body segment. Um, it's really hard to do, and there we go, like that. Okay, so you see the game reset, score reset, kept the high score, and there's like a bit of a slight pause there. So let's get started. Okay, for this tutorial, we'll be using uh, Python 3 and the turtle module, but for the most part, it should work uh, in Python 2 if you're still using that, but I would recommend update upgrading if you can. So, we're going to get started. We're going to use the turtle module. And if you've seen any of my other tutorials, I just like to use this. It's built in. It's very simple to use. Um, Pygame, of course, is, is more complex and more powerful. But I think for beginners, the turtle module is really, really helpful. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is to set up the screen. And that's basically the basic window. So we're going to make a little window object. Call it WN. Now, you can call this whatever you want it. But... Uh, it could be W, it could be window. I just use WN for some reason. Turtle.screen. Notice, screen is capitalized. I get this question all the time. Uh, people type it with a small s and it doesn't work. Python is very particular about capitalization. Um, I want to change the title of the window. Uh, and I'm going to call that snake game. You might call it worm game or whatever you want to call it, but uh, this is what I call it. And my Twitter handle is Tokyo EdTech. I, I tweet about technology and education. I'm going to make the background color of the window to green. You can choose whatever you like. And I want to change the size of the screen. The width is going to be 600 pixels. And the height is also going to be 600 pixels. And let's keep that consistent. And this, this next part here is something I do. I'm going to type win.tracer0. And what that does is it actually turns off the animation on the screen. And that will come up uh, later. So then once I've done that, I can, at the very, very end of the program, I'm going to type wn.mainloop. And this will basically keep the window open for us. Um, all of our code is going to go between this line and that line. Uh, but for now, we just want to get the screen set up. So let's test that. This is something I really encourage beginners. Uh, for some reason, they tend to type everything uh, and then just test it at the end. But you should really be testing it as you go along the way. I'm using Visual Studio Code. And as you can see, it pops up. It's not popping up my other monitor. Sorry, I have to drag it down. And you can see I've got a window. It is 600 by 600. The background color is green. And we can't really see what Tracer is doing yet, but trust me, it will come in handy. So stay tuned for the next part where we'll talk about the snake head and how to get that to move around the screen. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, and I do appreciate comments. If you have any questions, please go ahead and post them below.